Greetings from Research and More. This video is about research gap and its relationship with literature review, research problem, and research agenda. Also included is how to use frameworks to identify research gaps. Here are some of the motivation for the creation of this video. What is research gap and what is its function? To appreciate the function of research gaps, we have to first understand the relationship between literature review and research gap. But let's begin by understanding what a research gap is. In research, a gap exists when there is a difference between existing knowledge and a more preferred set of knowledge. Existing knowledge comprises findings from studies conducted by other researchers in the past in a particular domain or topic. So research gap is simply that part of the research question that remains unanswered by past research due to some limitations. In other words, a research gap can also be referred to as a deficiency in the literature. Therefore, a research gap in its simplest form is that part of the research question that has not been answered properly in earlier studies. For some reasons, new researchers seem to find research gap to be one of the most difficult tasks, perhaps because it is often confused with research objectives. But once a good understanding of the what, why and how of research gap its identification and application can become a lot easier. Why is it important to identify research gaps? This diagram shows the relationship between literature review, research gaps, problem statement and a research agenda. The main objective of doing a literature review is to identify research gaps. In every research work, there is always a problem that needs solving. Before any research agenda can be drawn up, the research problem must be well established first. Also, the nature of the problem to be studied must be well structured. To structure the research problem, researchers need to identify the research gaps within the area of study. By identifying research gaps and integrating them into the research problem, a researcher will be able to justify the need for conducting the study. Which means, all types of research should start with a research gap and end with a research agenda. Now let's take a closer look at the relationship between literature review and research gaps. Here is another framework to consider for identifying research gaps. 
This framework shows the flow of literature review to research gap and then to the research agenda. Identifying research gap is a fundamental goal of literature review. It is generally accepted that literature review should lead to the identification of research gaps. Unfortunately, there are not many publications that offer frameworks on how to identify research gaps for reference. However, these five steps should be useful for the purpose. The initial step is to determine the scope of our review process. Once that is done, we move on to conceptualizing the topic. This should include providing the definitions of key terms as well. Now we are ready to conduct a search for the literature. This is followed by performing the analysis and synthesis of selected literature. And finally, we identify the research gaps from the synthesis and develop a research agenda. One other option to identify research gaps is to use the gap analysis approach as shown in this framework. We begin the process of identifying research gap by narrowing down the research domain to the topic of our research interest. For example, if your area of research interest is leadership, you can further narrow it down to leadership competency as a starting point for refining your literature search and developing further analysis. Of course, to identify a research gap, a lot of reading and analysing the literature is required. There are several methods to identify research gaps. Start by reviewing relevant literature and prepare a summary followed by analysis and synthesis of the literature. The most commonly used method is the systematic literature review. The backward and forward reference search may also be used. The next step is to determine whether the research problem is feasible or not. If it is not feasible, then the gap needs to be modified. If the research problem is found not feasible due to lacking in novelty, then the choice of research topic and method of identifying the research gap must be revised. Feasibility of a research gap depends on the availability of literature, data, and tools for analysis. The type of research gap to be selected is influenced by the availability of the literature and its ability to contribute to the body of knowledge. The whole process should then bring us to the expected outcome. A wrong choice of research gap will not lead to the expected outcome. Thus, it is important that you are clear of what you expect out of your study. If the expected outcome does not lead to any contribution to the body of knowledge, then the methods used to identify research gaps needs to be revised. In summary, even though there are only subtle differences between research gap, research problem and research agenda, it is still possible to clearly distinguish one from the other. Let's check it out.